first. You have to just follow the dial through. <clears throat> Go to set clock. <clears throat> and we will set the clock. Uh, just use your plus or minus. And the left and right arrows will change from AM to PM. So we're going to go to 826. Okay, then you just go to set your day. Today is Wednesday. How often do you want the timer to come on? Most people want it to come on daily. So we. While daily is flashing, you hit enter. If you don't want it to come on every day, you can select a specific day of the week just by moving to that position and hitting plus or minus. But most people want it to come on every day. So just go to daily, hit plus, we're good to go. Start time, you have the option of two start times. Uh, we have three stations. To toggle between stations, we have this station button here. You can see station is shown in your top left. We're on station one, there's station two, there's station three. Now for setting a time, you have several options. You can right arrow over to photo cell and when you have the provided photo cell installed the lights will come on when it gets dark now one thing to know if you're testing the system if you take the photo cell and cover it you're not going to get an immediate indication that the photo cell has, is seen dark uh, it, it takes several minutes Okay, so just a reminder, it takes three to five minutes for the photo cell to indicate light or dark. Notice we're showing here, while in auto mode, we show a sun symbol, which means it's detecting light. Um, when it goes dark, it will show a moon. Okay, so anyway, back to programming. When you set your start time, you can choose the photo cell, which means you don't have to set any times at all, at least for the start time, or you can go timed. If I go timed, it does not use the photo cell. So, for an example, you could start uh, in the evening, you can use the photo cell to bring your lights on, and then you can go to a stop time and have an actual time set for the stop time. The advantage of this is that now you can use your second start time. Instead of having your lights run all night long, they come on in the evening when people can see them, then they go on, go off late at night, and then you can have them come on again in the morning if you'd like, so that you have light if you leave early in the morning. So you, you set your start time, and then you can set your stop time. So my lights will now come on at 6.05 and they will go off at 11.05. Or again, I could go to photo cell and they'll come on when it goes gets dark and then they'll go off at 11.05. Okay, now that's for station one. I can go in and hit the station button and go in and do station two, just like I did for station one. And then station three. There's no problem if you put all your lights on one station. The advantage of multiple stations is that I can dedicate one of them to our optional motion sensor. Okay, so for example, I have my motion sensor installed. The wires are color coded, so it's hard to do them wrong. The white goes to the specific station that you want it dedicated to. The black goes to the common and the red to the power. That's my motion sensor. So as I have it set up here, it will activate station three. So I have specific lights on station three that will come on 
just with the motion sensor. Now let me show you how the motion sensor is activated. For the motion sensor to come on, I need to set, since I'm on station 3, I need a start and stop time to tell it when it's going to come on. So I go, I go to station 3, I can give it a start time. I have it come on at 6 p.m. and I go to my stop time. Again, I go to station 3. I can give it a stop time or I can have it turn off with the photo cell. That works just as well. There's one additional step. I have to go into motion sensor and I have to tell it how long I want the lights to stay on once it detects motion. So obviously I can go anywhere from 1 minute to 240 minutes. Okay, now this way, station 3 will come on with the motion sensor, with the motion sensor only. If I set a second start time for station 3, it still is dedicated to this motion sensor setting, so it will still only come on with the motion sensor. However, most people will want the option of running that station, station 3, at a, a regular, a regularly scheduled time. So we can do that easily. You just take a, a jumper, a piece of wire, and in this this example, I run a piece of wire from station one to station three. What this allows me to do is both station one and station three will come on at my first start time in the evening. So I have all my lights on in the evening. And then later, the lights go off, and then I have station 3 set, so it's activated again, but this time by the sensor. So late, late at night or early in the morning, these lights will only come on if motion is detected with the motion sensor. Now, if you want to manually turn on your lights, there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, we have manual, you push the manual button, um, it has a default, we'll, it will just turn all your lights on, or you, you turn off to turn that off, or you can do a test all, and you can set how long you want it on. So you select the minutes and then it automatically kicks on. So I'm testing all my lights for one minute. Notice I'm on station one. I can do the right arrow, go to station two. I don't have anything on station two. Right arrow, I'll go to station three. And note that it shows the sensors active on station three. That's where I have it installed. If you go in and if you set your motion sensor setting under motion sensor, but you don't have a sensor installed, it, it will give you an error warning. Yeah. Okay, there's one other thing that people like to do, and that is to have one motion sensor to activate multiple zones. Uh, we can do that by, instead of having multiple motion, motion sensors, which you can do, you can have up to three, and they can be dedicated to all three zones, but you can use one motion sensor here on station three, and by jumping station three, to the other stations, you can have all the stations come on uh, when motion is the motion sensor is activated. In the auto position, the timer is going to scroll through what you have scheduled. So, for example, it shows this current time, but then it flashes through each of the stations, showing that they're currently off. And then, see the moon there. What I've done is I've covered our light sensor so that it's not receiving light. So now it's, it's indicating that it's dark outside. Oh, let's go over. Uh,